I'm so sorry, but I had to jump on this R. Kelly thing. All right. So, um, as I watched the docuseries or whatever, I noticed not one of the ladies started off by saying, oh my gosh, he kicked at me and grabbed me in an aggressive manner and he was abusing me and it was just the worst experience of my life. The overall message that I got from what those ladies were saying was that, um, you know, they were young, impressionable, and you know, like every young teenage girl that falls in love with a freaking TV people, they had a shot and they took it. I mean, like, I'm trying to understand what's going on because realistically, you know, I'm not saying like, it's okay but and for those of y'all who was paying attention i don't know if anybody noticed but remember shorty with the corn rolls okay so she said out of her mouth that r kelly asked her to get some of her friends so that's what she did now you got to remember like i said earlier these are young impressionable girls so being that this is a famous celebrity, you know, it didn't, they was looking for they, they start up and stardom, if you will. And, you know, things ain't go the way they plan. So here we are with the docuseries. I mean, realistically, that's just what happened. Like, I mean, I'm not on R. Kelly's side. I'm not on their side. And I'm not saying this to bash them, bash R. Kelly or any of that. But what I will say, who I genuinely feel and know for a fact is at fault, is the parents, parent, whatever, whoever's in care of that child at that time. Why? Because everything starts at home, right? So prime example, like for me, when I was growing up and I wasn't getting love and attention at home, mm, I was getting it from the streets. So that's where I leaned towards and that's where I went because people, that's our nature. We like attention. We like to feel loved, accepted, and appreciated. So if your parent or parents are not making you feel as such, you're going to go and find it from somewhere. Just so happened they were approached by R. Kelly. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all, when y'all were younger, you had older guys that you was crushing on. So everybody, please just stop trying to act like so whatever. Because I'm just really getting over all of this. Like, seriously. And for all of y'all that was young when Steven, Marvin Gaye, and all them, Stevie Wonder, and all them other people was out. Honey, in your time, best and believe. If they approached you, whether you was 12, 22, 32, or 42, you'd have took the bait. So please. 